time of the gentleman's expired. The gentleman from New York. Mr. Chairman, I'm pleased to yield two minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Paul. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for two minutes. I ask unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, for yielding. And I want to thank the leadership for allowing this debate to come to the floor. I have for quite a few weeks advocated that we do talk about this and that troops never be sent uh, to Kosovo without uh, our consent. I do believe, though, that uh, the process here is is less than perfect. Uh, the fact that we are talking about a House co concurrent resolution at the same time authorizing troop deployment raises serious questions. Since World War II, we have not been diligent here in the Congress to protect our prerogatives with the uh, at, with uh, the declaration of war. Korea and Vietnam were fought without declaration of war. These wars were not won. Since 1973, since the War Powers Resolution was passed, we have further undermined the authority of the Congress and delivered more authority to the President because the resolution essentially has given the President more power to wage war up to 90 days without the Congress saying very much. It is to our credit at least that we are bringing this up at this particular time. We must remember that there are various things involved here. Uh, first, uh, whether or not we should be the world policeman. That answer should be easy. We should not be. It costs a lot of money to do what we're doing and it undermines our military so we should consider that we could we should consider the law and the process and the war powers resolution and just exactly how we give authority to the president to wage war we should be more concerned about the Constitution and how we should give this authority we should be concerned about uh, about this uh, procedure but the bigger question here is if we vote for this I strongly oppose passing this because if we vote for this we authorize the moving of troops into a dangerous area. Well, we should ask ourselves, if you are willing to vote for this, are you yourself willing to go there and expose your life on the front lines? Are you willing to send your child or your grandchild? Not only be exposed to the danger with the pretense that you're going to save the world, but with the idea that you may lose your life. That's what you have to consider. Time of the gentleman's expired. The gentleman from Pennsylvania.